Homegrown tomatoes have the best flavor and are the most versatile crop on the vegetable garden because they can be used in so many different delicious ways. Though growing tomatoes is more challenging than growing other vegetables, the experience is well worth it in the end. Tomatoes are heavy feeders, so fertilizing is an essential step in the process. Although it's common to find commercial tomato feeds, creating your own tomato fertilizer is natural, efficient, and typically cost-free. Find out what ingredients go into creating homemade tomato fertilizers that work great for growing organic vegetables. First up, banana peels, because they are low in nitrogen and high in nutrients like calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and potassium. Banana peels make a great natural tomato fertilizer. Chopping up banana peels into small pieces and incorporating them into the soil surrounding tomato plants or making banana peel tea is the most effective way to apply it to the plants. To allow the peels to break down, it is best to do this before using the tea. There is complete video on making banana peel tea on my channel. I will also put a link in the description box. 2. Peels from Vegetables Vegetable peelings make excellent compost because they are high in phosphorus, potassium, and nitrogen. They can, however, be buried in the planting hole prior to the tomatoes being inserted. To allow the peelings to break down, it is best to do this a few months prior to planting. Make vegetable peeling tea and apply it as a liquid fertilizer for plants to see results more quickly. Just put your peelings in a jar, pour some water over them, and let them steep for a day or two. Pour around the plants and strain. 3. The cooking water. The cooking water from boiling rice, pasta, and veggies can be allowed to cool and then used to water tomatoes. This cooking water is rich in minerals, including calcium, iron, nitrogen, and phosphorus. But it needs to be unsalted, otherwise the plants will perish. 4. Onion peel. Because they are rich in minerals like calcium and potassium, onion peels can be a helpful supplement to homemade tomato fertilizer. Both red and white onion skins that are dry can be used. Onion peels can be used in two ways, either crushed and applied to the soil, or soaked in water for a week, then strained and used as an effective liquid tomato fertilizer. On the fifth position, Epsom salt. Magnesium and sulfur-containing Epsom salts are widely used as an organic fertilizer for plants. They are only beneficial to most plants when they are magnesium deficient. Conversely, tomatoes do well when supplemented with magnesium in the form of Epsom salts. Use Epsom salts sparingly and, ideally, test the soil first as they tend to create more issues than they fix. You can dilute salt with water and apply it to the soil instead of sprinkling it on. When planting, use approximately one tablespoon per gallon of water. After that, apply no more frequently than once per month. Alternatively, tomato plants will absorb it more quickly if you apply diluted Epsom salts as a foliar spray. Be sure to view the video links in the description for a recipe and detailed instructions on how to create your own nutrient-dense fertilizers and sprays. We appreciate you watching. And for more gardening advice and tricks, don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch our other videos.